Hey, what's up, my little title talks? How y'all doing today? Well, if you're Balenciaga, baby, you have some explaining to do. And so does Kim Kardashian. And for once, the only person who don't got to explain that GC things is Kanye West. You guys, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Balenciaga is in deep trouble for this really crazy, uh, like actually sick campaign they did um, for their purses, new teddy bears or whatever. You guys, again, it got so bad that they had to pull down the ad. What am I talking about? If you guys don't know, well, I'm going to have to describe it for you because I don't want to get demonetized. The Balenciaga put up this ad. The first one was a kid standing in an awkward position with a bemused, with a slightly scared look on their face and holding a teddy bear that was dressed in BDSM regalia. Google the pics. I don't want to get demonetized, but I'm describing you. In front of that scene is a kid looking slightly scared, right? The teddy bear, there were wine glasses, cups, all this stuff around. It looks like there was a party and maybe something was a party favor. The second, actually, let's get into this. This is the first thing, right? Look at that, slightly scared face, blah, 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 blah. The second was discover the gift shop. A girl, teddy bear, young, fishnets, rubber sheets, looks like a looks like a BDSM playground. Now here's the kicker. And when everybody saw it, everybody was like, yo, like something ain't right in my soul. Something is not sitting right in my soul. What are y'all doing? However, and this is the kicker that got everybody going, what the hell? They showed a purse. Here's the purse. Matter of fact, I'll put it on the screen. The purse looks like it's in a lawyer's office. There's legal files everywhere. The purse is sitting on top of papers. What is that papers? They are court cases from Ashcroft, right? From Ashcroft versus Free Speech 1990, the Free Speech Coalition 1996. Now, when you look at the pictures that are on the screen and you look at what this last bag says and the thing why is that pivotal because if you guys do not know of anything about precedence or legal history ashcroft versus the free speech coalition in 1996 is where the supreme court struck down key portions of the child per protection act the act that was supposed to protect kids against pedialyte bears now I cannot say because I don't want to be, you know, but pedia, pedophile, pedia light bear. That's what we're calling them, right? Um, they literally said in that it was a key portion of the Child Pernum Protection Act being struck down. And the Supreme Court ruled that virtual child par is protected speech. Now, I know it's a sick ruling. It's a disgusting ruling. But yet and still, you take the Balenciaga ad, you take what the kids, you take the fact that everybody that is familiar with um, Ashcroft versus free speech, the clock that said, this is disgusting. You are encouraging Pedialyte bears. You are encouraging child Pedialyte bears. You're encouraging this, this French fashion house, which is sick enough. It got so bad, Balenciaga, literally, because everyone that knew before y'all be like, it's not that big a deal. Everybody that knew what they were talking about literally went in on Balenciaga. Balenciaga literally had to remove the whole campaign and they posted an apology saying, we sincerely apologize for any offense our holiday campaign may have caused. The, our plush beer bag should not have been featured with children in this campaign. We have immediately removed the campaign from all platforms. So you remove the campaign that you 100% wanted to associate with being a Pedialyte beer and whatever, you did all that. So here's what I wanna know, and I'm being dead serious. Listen, when Kanye lost his GD mind, in my opinion, I was right there being like, burn. But what are we gonna do about Balenciaga? 
What are we going to do about Valencia? They can't. And listen, rejection is protection. They cut off all ties with Kanye. They can't blame him for this. I know that everybody is trying to blame him for the fall of the Roman Empire. They can't blame him from this. They can't. So now the rejection is protection. He's out of there. What's everybody got to say? Everybody was so up in arms about the rightfully hateful things he said about almost every ethnicity in this world, right? But what y'all got to say about this? What y'all got to say when it's actually children? What do y'all got to say with the person, Kimberly Noel Kardashian? What do you have to say? You're putting all those fake things about, I stand with this person and I stand with that and you guys hate of any farm is wrong. You got four kids. What do you have to say about this? And Missy, you're in law school, right? You're in law school. Now, I don't know if you've gotten the constitutional law yet because you didn't even know Roe versus Wade. You thought it was under contracts law and tort. But if you have gotten under gotten to constitutional law or if your tutor will fast forward, Kimberly, what's your comment on this? You can't say that's not the connotation they weren't trying to make. You can't say that's what they were trying to sell. You can't say anything like this. So I ask you again, I ask you again, where is all the outrage? Where's the celebrities on Twitter being like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? And listen, I'm not playing oppression Olympics. You have the right to feel offended, disgusted, horrified about anything that you want. But I would assume that this, Pedialyte bears, things that deal with of this nature, that a fashion house is going, I would assume that you would stand up, stand up and make a stand. So, but did they, but did they, let's see the stand they made. I went to Kim's Instagram and I said, is she going to speak on this? Because this is right in your intersection. It's law. It's Pedialyte Bear. You have children. Doesn't this affect you? You want to sit there and play like podcasts for the people, right? And, and Elle Woods and Malibu Barbie Law. Why aren't you saying anything about this? So what did Kim's response to this was? What was her response? Oh, that's right. She posted a picture sitting pretty, busy shading Kanye, wearing the new Balenciaga Yeezy Adidas collab instead of, but they took Yeezy out of it. So she's sitting there and head to toe Balenciaga, sitting there pretty, while Balenciaga had to put up an apology for even making an ad that glorified, that made it cool, that made it hip, that tried to normalize Pedialyte bear behavior. Y'all, this is what I mean about, I don't understand social media sometimes. Listen, baby, I know I talk trash for a living. I actually enjoy it a lot. But when it's time to take a stand or when you see something, what are you gonna do with the person or the thing or the company you aligned yourself stops your back? It was so easy for everybody to pile on Kanye. And I'm not defending Kanye. What he did, he did, he took it. That's everybody's saying he's playing chess and that's what he wanted to happen. So we don't gotta feel sorry for him. But the fact that everybody's willing to look the other way when Balenciaga does something that affects everyone, no matter your race, color, religion, or creed, it affects all of us. And the fact that you can sit pretty and try to throw a sub at Kanye, and as a matter of fact, why are you throwing subs at Kanye? Shouldn't you be like worried about like Pete doing the horizontal Lobata with like somebody that was in your friend group? I'm just saying, I'm just saying priorities need to be made, but back to the subject, right? That's probably, that's probably the sirens coming to get Balenciaga right now. They're coming to, coming to get you right now. But honestly, and this needs to be said, why aren't more celebrities taking a stand? Why isn't Adidas disassociating themselves? Why isn't Gap disassociating themselves? Why isn't Kimberly and the Kardashians denouncing this? Why? Because Balenciaga is cool. Cause you get to take a few pictures. Cause it's good for your brand. It's good for your name. And at the end of the day, y'all actually don't care about what happens to anybody but you and yours. And this goes for a lot of celebrities, a lot of people. People don't care what happens to them. They'll use outrage as an excuse to pile on. They ain't never like Kanye, so they need to pull everything away from him. And again, I'm not defending Kanye. He did it to himself, but they use that as excuse to pile on. So what happens when we have a real issue? Again, Kanye correct, but this is a real issue for everyone, regardless of your race, color, religion. Who's going to speak out about it? Hmm? The social media? But what about your faves? Because everybody's so pressed, right? Because being with Balenciaga means you're part of the elite. You're in with the cool crowd, right? Y'all, there's something dark going on. 
there's something dark going on. And you know what else I do want to say since we are talking about Kanye? Kim may say anything, but how come Kanye hasn't come out and said anything either? Let's go to his Twitter and see if he has anything to say. Because that's the true test of everything, right? You speak out on everything. You're so worried about the children, right? Let's see what Ye has to say. Let's see. I'm just interesting, right? That's not Ye. What? <laughs> Daniel, Daniel, Elon Max. I would think Kanye was his Twitter. And there's a million fake yays. Oh my God. I can't. Where's Kanye was his Twitter? Anyway, right? I don't see. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, the last thing he said was Shalom one day ago, but you don't even got anything to say for your bestie, Dimma. Because he's in charge of creative direction. He's the one that decided to put Kim in those whack ass Balenciaga bag, looking like a, a crazed witch of the North in the winter. What y'all got to say about this? So Dimma's in charge of this too. What y'all got to say? I don't know. Birds of a feather flock together. And it appears when it all settles, they're all, those birds are all in the same flock. Anyway, my little title tells, let me know what you think in the comments. I will not be purchasing anything else from Balenciaga again. You only got one chance to show me who you are. And they really took that chance to say loud and clear who they are. Anyway, my little title tells, let me know what you think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.